Hey everybody, Jordan Adler coming to you live from Jerome, Arizona. And tonight I want to talk about the genesis of growth in your business. And uh, this is a, I'm going to be giving some specifics to growth, but I want you to think of it from the concept at, at a concept level, even though I'm going to be giving specifics. So I want you to think of it for, uh, from the le from a from a perspective of the concepts of growth. So, but I'm going to do it in a specific way and tell you some stories. And then at the end of this um, broadcast tonight, I'm going to talk about some things that you can do that you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong if you do these things. So Jason Payne, he's the guy that put the roof on my home up here in Jerome, the metal roof, had a roof up here that had been uh, on this house for over 20 years and it was starting to get pretty tattered. And uh, I decided I wanted to have a metal roof, like a copper roof. And so I had that done. Well, Jason is, was in my BNI chapter and Jason, he is uh, the owner of State 48 Roofing. He's growing very fast. <clears throat> I had no idea what this guy was involved in. Um, and what had happened, I think I mentioned this on a previous training, Jason went out to bid on a project. Uh, somebody contacted him from an internet lead and he went out there and there had been some repairs done on the roof of this person that he went out to see. And he asked them, why didn't you go back to the person that repaired the roof? The repairs had been done a couple of years prior. And the person told him, uh, we don't even remember who repaired the roof. We don't know who they are. We can't remember them. And Jason knew what I do, you know, from the BNI. And he goes, you know what? That can't happen to me. There's so many customers that I have that if in a year or two, they don't remember me, they're, they're not coming back to me. So he came to me and he said, Jordan, I need to sign up for send out cards. He immediately started sending cards to all of his customers and, and uh, sending brownies to all everybody who put a roof on. And he spends about $200 a month on cards and gifts. And some months he spends more. And he interviewed me for his podcast. Um, he has a podcast that he runs for his roofing company. And, uh, and, and then he started a podcast that's just like a general business building podcast. He's got a bunch of followers. And I didn't know this, but he was running an event. And the event was called MenaceCon 2022. And he calls his disciples or the people that you know, participate in his training, he calls them menaces probably not in full alignment with the way that I operate just right off the top. However, um, when I went to the event, I saw that it was really right in line with what we teach. I mean, they're all about giving first. They're all about giving without expecting anything in return. And like what menace means to me is somebody who's willing to not necessarily follow the status quo, but do something that is out of their comfort, uh, somebody who's willing to do things that are out of their comfort zone, that are willing to do things to, sometimes when you, um, when you bring an idea to somebody in the beginning, they may have a lot of resistance based on what's happened in the past and they may not see it right away, but that doesn't mean they don't need what we have. So being a menace means to maybe challenge that a little bit. And so, that's what his event was about. Well, he had about 300 attendees and there's no doubt after this event, these were all business professionals. There's no doubt after this event that he did last weekend in Phoenix at the Orange Tree that he's gonna have a thousand or more at, at his next event. Well, as I mentioned, it was this last weekend at the Orange Tree Resort and mostly I just hung out. I did speak at the event and I talked about stories that you've heard, all the stories you've heard about why it's so important to stay in touch with people, why it's so important to appreciate your customers and all the things. You know, I told the story about Jason and I told the story about the beer can on my pool table up here in Jerome. And I told, told the story about the guy that fell off my third story deck and all the things that that, that led to as a result of me sending cards out. And um, I encouraged Jason because I knew I was going to be speaking at this event. Now think about this from a concept standpoint. It doesn't matter whether you're speaking on the stage or not. It really doesn't. If you're there and you're talking to people and meeting people and making connections, any event, uh, any online or offline event, um, I encouraged Jason from State 48 Roofing to set up an affiliate account for $14 a month because I said, you know, anybody that has any interest from 
you know, what I say on the stage, you know, we want them in your organization so that you can get the overrides. And he did it. I wasn't even sure if he was going to do it, but he did it at the last minute. And I promoted it from the stage after my training. I set up um, a very simple service. It's called SMS text back service. Um, they're all over. There's like lots of companies that do this. You've probably participated in it before where you text a word to a phone number. I just put that up on the screen. And I said, if you text this word to this phone number and it automatically puts them in. And then what I did is I sent the link out because they had already heard me speak. I, I, I enrolled them in a contest. If they, if they opted in by texting that word unlimited to the phone number, the word was unlimited. They text that to a phone number. And so I set up this, this service and there were 62 people of the, um, 62 people of the um, 300 people that were there that, that opted in. And then I sent them all, I, I talked to them a little bit in the texts, just like I talked to some of you using those texts. Um, I, uh, I sent them the link and a handful of them signed up. And now I can continue to follow up with them because I have their cell numbers. So um, let's see. So this is the, the, the genesis of growth. So it started off with a guy who I met at BNI who I had no idea had this community of people, but he's got three business partners. And these three business partners are rock stars at online marketing. I did not know that. I found that out this weekend at the event. Um, and so let's see, um, today, if we have time at the end of this, I might play for you a, a few minutes of the, uh, the, the call that I had with them today. But Jason was on it. His two business partners and their two wives were on it. And they are like bouncing off the walls, excited about dropping our program into their system. So it's an integration strategy. You can do this with anyone. And it's just knowing the general concepts of it. Um, I've been sending cards to the leaders of MenaceCon. And uh, so that's kind of the genesis of how this started from one single connection. And because I was able to recognize that they had this community, right? I was able to then talk to them about the possibility of collaboration. That's why I said to Jason, Jason, you might want to set up a affiliate account. And again, he waited till like the day of the event before he upgraded his send out cards account to the affiliate position. The day of the event, he did that. I got the URL and we customized it for his, uh, for his, it was menacecon.com forward slash cards is what it was. And if they went there, then they could sign up for um, our program. So that's kind of how that worked. Um, I'm going to show you maybe a few minutes of the video here in, in just a few minutes, but I also posted on social media. Some of you might have seen this. It was right after the new packages were announced that paid 30 percent. And I signed up two affiliates as a result of this. I put this on my timeline on my Facebook timeline. It said new I'll, and I'll post this in the group so you have it. New bigger packages launched with card discounts and 30 percent commissions deposited into your bank account the next day, daily pay, message me for details. I'm going to say that again. New bigger packages launched with card discounts and 30% commissions deposited into your bank account the next day, daily pay, message me for details. Now, you could post that once a month on your timeline and different people will see it. But I had a bunch of people commenting, interested, send me more information. And then I private messaged them and signed up two of them. And one of them you saw in the group because um, I recognized her as a new subscriber and a new affiliate. Um, her name is she's a she's a postal carrier, believe it or not. She carry, she she uh, delivers the mail. And um, her name is Amanda Ber Berussi, I think is the last name. I'm not may not be pronouncing it right. But you could do the same thing and just post that. Remember, like a lot of your friends and a lot of your family members, they know you're part of Send Out Card. So when you say that there's new bigger packages that are launched that pay 30% commission uh, and, it's, and the pay is daily and that there's a, a check in their account the next day, that's appealing for some people, especially if they're looking to make cash now. So I want to show you my card history here. I'm going to just take you into my, uh, I'm going to take you into my Send Out Cards here for a minute. Why is, there's my, they keep moving the buttons around on me. 
So let's go to my send out cards. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right. I'm going to go into my card history. And I'll just show you some of the cards I sent over the past couple of days. Got a lot of birthday cards in there. People have birthdays every day. So we'll just pull up the last 24 hours. And you'll see a picture of Jason. Okay, so that so right here, I sent this a uh, picture of my sister and our high school coaches. I sent that to her in a postcard. Now, Richard Alvarez, he, run, he won the $50 American Express card. And I sent him this card. So this card is a picture of myself and Jason, the guy, the roofer guy on the front of the card. And then a picture of, of an event. Um, this little guy has a disease that I can't even pronounce, but it, it's the deterioration of the ball and socket in his hips. His name's Jack and he's five years old and he's going through all kinds of surgeries. He's got all kinds of equipment on here that are like drilled into his bones and they raised quite a few thousand dollars at the event. And these are the three of the four menaces, three of the four partners. This is Jason right here. And these are the other two guys. And in the card, and then I put a picture of this guy's business card and a little note to him. I uh, can't wait to hear what you learned at MenaceCon. And then me on the back. So I sent that card. And then the same guy, Richard Alvarez, this is his $50 American Express gift card. A birthday card to send to John Amico. Uh, now, Nick is one of the partners. And I sent him the, the same card with a couple of brownies. There's another guy, Terrence and Tiffany, they're part, they're part of the partners as well. This is all, and then Peter Kaufman had a birthday. I sent him a personal um, birthday card with the socks, with the, the socks that are in our system. Um, and uh, Peter's a very close friend. I let my personal assistant send um, some of the cards and then some of the cards I send myself. I make little notes. Let's see. So you can see all the ones I sent to some of the people I met at Menace. This guy here, Nicholas, he's another one of the partners. And I sent him the random acts of coffee card along with the Starbucks card. So today when we did the uh, get to, when we did the, the the meeting with the partners of Menace, I actually sent this card, the Starbucks card to Nicholas as he watched me do it. So he was able to see it. I'm gonna, you're going to see the reaction from these guys. Um, so let's see. Yeah. So that's the cards, 21 cards in the last 24 hours that I sent out. So let me stop the share there. And we're going to go back. And uh, so I'm going to give you six things that you can't go wrong if you do these things. And then we'll take the last 10 minutes or so. so and I'll show you a part of the video of my meeting with these guys today, because you'll get a sense of what kind of person might allow you to or might open their community to you. Um, and again, it's just networking. It's just doing those three things we talked about um, and continue to share the story and share, share the story and send cards. So number one, you can't go wrong if you do these things. Number one, focus on learning, not getting. Focus on learning and not getting. That means when you meet with somebody, ask them, show them and say, what would you do? How would you do this? If you were to be the one that was going to build this company and grow this company. You can do this with people that have no experience. Who knows? They might come up with some great ideas. They might have come up with some ideas that they know would benefit them because it, it, it puts their brain in another place. It puts their brain in a place of not them resisting you trying to sell to them, but they're looking at it from a place of how could, how can I help you grow this based on what you're doing? So you're showing them everything. And you're saying, what would you do if it was yours? So it actually puts them in the place of it being theirs. Does that make sense? That's the first thing. Number so, so focus on learning and not getting. Number two, keep your eyes open for new ways. New, emphasize the word new. Everybody type the word new into the comments. Keep your eyes open for new ways to meet people both online and offline. Keep your eyes open for new ways. What I'm finding is there are 10 times as many people all around me in my circle that are doing things online that I didn't even know were doing things online. And you do too. You have a circle of people around you and you have no idea until you actually breach this topic with people. 
So keep your eyes open for new ways to meet people both online and offline. Number three, number three, reach out to a few new people every day. So whether that be on Instagram, on Facebook, new people. I'm emphasizing that word new. Reach out to a few new people every day. Send a message. I did a few of those today. I'm doing more and more of it, more than I've ever done before, because I'm learning that there's these people that are all around me that are immersed in this world and are really smart when it comes to this stuff that I didn't even know. Uh, like I could, I could tell you 10 people that I'm really close to, and I had no idea the way they were building their business. But because I breached the topic and started asking them questions, showing them what I was doing, asking for them for their opinion, their advice, some of them go, it blows their mind and they go, wow, they see it. They didn't see it before because you never approached them with it before. Number four, post something that you've learned on social media at least once a day. So once a day, post something that you have learned on social media. It could be written or it could be a video. Number five, and this is one that it's all, this is the one that all of us do automatically because Sorry, we're- did you say that again? Oh, my watch, my watch thought I was asking it something. Um, show a pre, number five is show appreciation, appreciation every day. You know, exhibit that energy of giving using words and deeds. Cards and gifts are the easy way to do this. And number five is the one that most of you do all the time anyway. We all do all of these, but it's really more just putting it at the top of our awareness and making it intentional. So number five is show appreciation every day. And number six, uh, this one, man, I'm, I've been really bad at this over the years and I'm not anymore. Like I am fully vulnerable, vulnerable and exposed when it comes to this one now. Admit you know very little and that you're learning and growing and you are a sponge. Admit that you know very little and that you're learning and growing and that you're a sponge. Always ask for ideas and advice. You know, it hit me like a ton of bricks this week after being on the cruise with Richard Branson. Richard Branson does that. And he's worth billions and billions of dollars. I've seen him sit down with people that have businesses that are one two hundredth the size of his businesses. And he's asking them for advice and for their opinion. And it's the fastest way to grow. If you want to grow fast, admit you know very little and that you're learning and growing and that you're a sponge and always ask for ideas and advice. And I'm excited to share that one with you, especially because I know that most of us don't do that. I am now doing it, but I wasn't doing it. And I know that most of you haven't done that in the past. And when you do it, it opens up so many new worlds to relationships and also to knowledge. And you end up with partners that you couldn't even have imagined. So those are the six things. Number one, focus on learning, not getting. Number two, keep your eyes open for new ways to meet people both offline and online. Number three, reach out to new people every day. Number four, post something you've learned on social media at least once a day. Number five, show appreciation every day. And number six, admit that you know very little and that you're learning and growing and that you're a sponge and always ask for ideas and advice, just like Richard Branson. So with that, I am going to take a lot, the next, the next 10 minutes, I'm just gonna let you see, have a glimpse into my world. I'm doing these meetings now probably five times a day. Uh, I've got at least five tomorrow. I had four or five today. So I'm gonna play for you from my, YouTube, if this is not a public video, I did get permission to share it with you guys, but I'm not gonna make it public. So it's not a video that you can have access to. But this is my menace planning meeting with the, now keep in mind, these guys had already expressed interest as of this weekend, and they initiated the meeting. And, and this is a part of it. I'm just gonna show, show you, like I'll just start it right here. And I'm gonna look at the comments. Uh, it, sounds, it seems like from what I've read, look at it, you've got a really nice, uh, a nice template um, set up for people that makes it easy for them to, you know, create an Hold online on. presence and, and not sure uh, you can sell see to this. their community. So, so tell me, and then also, you know, if you think about it, you've got connect, you're connected to people that have luck. Yeah. You're not able to see that. Let me go back and try this again. Hold on. Sorry. Share screen. 
here, here. Okay, you should be able to see it and hear it now. Large communities, people that have memberships, people that coach thousands or hundreds of business coaches, or they coach, you know, real estate people. Those are all great prospects. So, you know, we could work together to actually recruit people that want to create a, um, a an income stream for their business by introducing this to their organizations. I love uh, that, man. I we love thought that. too. What would make a lot of sense is uh, basically because we've got the menace con, your menace con speech that ties really well into it. Yeah, yeah. And we were it, it really does. It ties beautifully into it. There you go, Nikki. Gee, I used the word beautifully. You could cut that up and turn it into some videos that could be used to rock it. Yeah, exactly. And that and that's what that's what we want to look at. How can we collaborate and then push push all of the you know, essentially the data, which is the names and email addresses, they can then, because they collaborate with this on this side, it gets pushed into that. It, one, it helps. It's a thing that obviously will help them generate more revenue, more opportunities. And then three, you know, on the back end, this is your business. So it creates opportunity for you. And so I just think it's a win for everybody involved and everybody's, everybody's incentivized and aligned to help people with it you know yeah. you know what I'm saying? like so i want to share a quick a, a quick story real quick story with you that i that i learned from jason uh and this is the reason jason signed up with us so he went on a he went on a job and, and the reason he went out there is the person was having some leaks on the roof and when they went out there they found out that uh jason found out that uh, somebody else had repaired the roof in the past and Jason asked them, this is before he was using us, he asked them, why didn't you just go back to the people that repaired the roof? And you know what they said? We don't, we don't have, we, we don't remember who they are. So, so Jason immediately, there he is right there. Let me, let's let him in and then I'll finish the story. Perfect. There he is with his sunglasses in his, in his truck, in his big truck. Jason, what's up? What's up? Hey man, I'm just telling a story about you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm right. getting gaps. Go ahead. All right. So, so Jason saw this. Uh, he asked them, you know, why they, uh, why they didn't just go with the person that repaired the roof, and uh, they couldn't remember. So Jason signed up with me, and now he's sending cards and brownies to all of his clients and making sure that they receive a couple cards a year from him. So all of his clients now are receiving cards, and um, so. So what I'll do, I mean, you guys tell me, do you want me to real, give you a quick, like a quick overview on it, uh, just how it works? Would that, yeah. be, helpful? Would that be helpful? Yeah, Jordan, I'd like, a, so, so I've sent thousands of cards and, and brownies using send out cards. So we owned a real estate brokerage and I would train all my realtors to send send out cards once they made the sale of like the client in front of their home. Jason has gotten send out cards for me when Jason bought a home from me. Right. And when we sold it, we put the sold sign on it. So. I'm very familiar with the system of where we could use it. What we want to do is train our students inside of the coaching program and teach them how to do it and just have the affiliate link right inside of our software where they could just click on and go right. sign up. So we train them, but I would just love a refresher, my friend. It's been a yeah. few years. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Jordan, I think too, like we could almost build a mini course around your messaging. So they feel like, Oh man, I'm getting coaching from Jordan. And everything we do is just reaffirm that, push them to the affiliate link. And one, because I see you, I mean, I can't speak for you. I can only speak for our side, which is we want to be connected to you. We want to have you at future MenaceCon events. Right. That's why you got all of us on the call. It's really important for us to send that message to you. And then three, it almost feels like people outside of the event can still, because that's one thing we want to do is the great speakers that we're bringing back. We want the community to still feel connected to them so as they come back and speak, it's like, man, Jordan's back. What's he going to talk about this year? Man, how, you, you get what I'm saying? I do. That, that, yeah. That's what we're looking to create and build. All right. Well, especially with the, with the Facebook group, we could actually teach a class. But there's not everybody in the – I mean, we have 300 right now. They're not all paying students, but how could we still add value to their lives? Well, we believe in relationship marketing. We could bring you on on a Zoom as a guest speaker and then give these people an opportunity – to sign up for send out cards that aren't our students, but we could still add value to their lives as a lower ticket way. Uh, we want to help them, right? Give first and, and don't expect anything in return. And if they could get signed up with this and start landing some clients, 
you know what your dream client was worth. If we're the ones that made that happen, they're better because of that. You win, we win, they win. And then maybe down the road, they sign up for our coaching. If not, they're sending out some cards and we're getting a little bit of, a little bit of affiliate. I love that, man. That's yeah, awesome. That's great. Well, let me do this. I'll just give a real quick, I mean, very. So here's, here's what I want you guys to understand. And I know this because I, I'm a novice on some of this stuff. Like I'm, an, I'm not a novice on send out cards, right? I'm not a novice on what we do, but to build what they're talking about, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even know where to start, but they know, right? They have the expertise, they have the systems, they have the community, we've been talking about that. They have the systems, they have the expertise and they have the community, they know how to sell and promote. That's all I need to do, that's all you would need to do is give them the information they need to be able to do that. I hope this is helpful and I want you to understand that you've got me as a resource. There's plenty of videos. I mean, there's tons of training videos that have been done. You even got this video. You could share this video and tell somebody to watch. Oh no, you can't share this video, can you? Hmm. Maybe I'll have to talk to them about making it available. But you could tell them to watch from here to here, right? That little section that I just played for you. But again, I wanted you to get this from a conceptual standpoint because for the past few weeks, We've been training on this, but now you can see in real life how it works. By the way, this would not be happening. It would not have happened if I hadn't made a shift in my focus. And because I made a shift in my focus, it uncovered this big opportunity that I would not have seen if I hadn't been thinking about all of this for the past couple of months. So I'm, I'm hoping this is helpful. I really want you guys to get it and if you don't understand something or you're unsure about how to approach it or you don't even know where to start, I want you to ask your questions in the group and then I'll go in there and uh, I'll go in there and, um, and answer any questions that you have. I hope this was helpful as far as so you can kind of see because they, they use the words, I didn't teach them that stuff. They use the words that I've been using week after week after week here they're saying this is like a win, win, win. We make money. Our clients get a service that's going to help them. Some of those clients have thousands of people that they coach and train. Some of their clients, if you saw the people in the room, it was like unbelievable. This is one of thousands of groups out there like this. Thousands. Everybody that's doing events, all the authors that are out there, all the online marketers, all the people that sell stuff online. And so if you reach out every day to people, just check in. You don't have to sell. You don't need to sell anything. You're asking for advice. You're asking for ideas. You're asking for uh, introductions. Who do I need to meet? And you're talking to them about possible collaboration. The only thing I did, two things, is Jason, I encouraged him to upgrade to affiliate. He was already using send out cards. I said, Jason, you need to be an affiliate because we're going to be introducing, I'm going to be doing a training and you want to have access to those clients. And the second thing I did is I said to that guy, Terrence, at the event, I said, I would love to do a meeting with you guys. And I didn't expect it to happen for a couple of weeks. They reached out to me and they got all their team members on it. That's what you just saw. Uh, their, their, main, their, their main partners on it because they came to me and said, Jordan, we need to, we need to get this rolling because they saw the possibilities. So is it making more sense? You guys getting it? Grace? Good, 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 good. So with that, everyone, uh, listen, I think we're out of time and I just want to thank you all and uh, have a great week. And if you need anything at all, reach out to me. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.